Hey guys, it's Cameron. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys five Dollar Tree DIY decorations for Christmas. All of these are super easy to do and I'm going to tell you guys step by step what I got to make them and how I did it. Just wanted to give you guys a quick disclaimer. My workspace is really, really messy. Also, you guys might be able to see in a lot of the videos that the positioning of the camera was kind of off. You couldn't really see the top of some of the things. I'm really sorry about that. For the first DIY decoration, you're gonna need a wine glass that has a pretty flat bottom, any type of ball ornament that's pretty big, a cup that's able to sit on the top of the ornament to put a candle in. You're also gonna need some tea light candles to put inside the little cup that's gonna go on top. As you guys can tell, it's really easy. The first thing that I do is just hot glue the ornament to the bottom of the wine glass. And then once that's done, I'm gonna hot glue the cup on top of the ornament and then I'm just gonna put the tea light candle in. The cup that I found for the top actually had a little tray for the candle. You don't have to get one like that. It's just what I found and I felt like it worked really well. I have these little red bows that I also got at the dollar store and they had a bell on them but I didn't really like how the bell looked because it was gold and all of the detailing was silver so I took the bell out and I used the little thing that was around it and just rewrapped it and then hot glued it on the glass. The next DIY that I'm doing is really, really simple. At the dollar store, they had these little circular poinsettia things, and I just found these cute little cups that it really fit perfectly around. Obviously, if you guys can't find the poinsettia like this where it's already put together, you can just glue pieces of ones around the cup, but luckily I have like an easy way to do it, and then I just used another tea light candle and I put it inside the cup. So for this next DIY, I did not know what to call this because I really don't know what it is. So I had to get a piece of styrofoam and I just cut a little bit of a little square out of it. It doesn't have to be perfect, mine was pretty messy, and I just hot glued it to the bottom of this, this martini glass. I basically just bought from the dollar store a bunch of bouquets of different poinsettias. I have the red ones, the white ones, and then I just got ones with like pine cones in them and little berries and stuff. Just really cute things. And as you guys can see throughout the video, I'm just cutting them off. It was really hard to cut because they had wires and nothing I was using was working. As I'm going along, every time I cut off one of the stems, I'm just gonna stick it into the styrofoam part. Sometimes it might break a little bit, so I use a little bit of hot glue to keep it in there. So once I'm all done putting everything in the styrofoam, I'm going to be wrapping some ribbon around it. to cover the little piece of styrofoam so I wrapped some more ribbon around that part and then I was struggling to make a bow you can see in the video my mom was trying to help me but I basically tied a knot with that one piece of ribbon and then I used another piece of ribbon made a bow and then just hot glued it on there and cut the like long piece off of it you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about in the video it's a little bit hard to explain
the next DIY I actually did not have in the beginning of the video because I forgot to take a video of how it looked at the end because honestly I didn't really love how it came out but I decided to put it in the video anyways. I was originally going for a snow globe but I didn't have all the things that I needed for it and I wanted to keep this strictly a Dollar Tree DIY video so I decided to just do winter in a jar. So I got some fake grass that I put in this jar and then I got a little Christmas tree and I got these little toys that I put in there. I think one was people like Christmas caroling and one was a little house. And then I just got this fake snow, which as you guys can tell, it got messy. It was all over my table, all over my floor, and it clings to stuff. So we were vacuuming everywhere. It was a disaster. But I just put that on top and it ended up looking kind of cute. I tied a ribbon around it at the end. It just wasn't one of my favorites out of the things I made, but it was so cute. The last DIY decoration that I have is my wreath. This was my favorite thing that I made. It came out so perfect. At the dollar store, they just had 15 foot garland. I ended up needing to use two of the 15 feet garlands for this because that's what made it have the correct like thickness that I wanted and it just made it look the best. And I found at the dollar store, they had basically like a template, is that the word? I don't know, for a wreath. And I just wrapped the garland around there, which actually took me a while to do for it to actually look how I wanted it to. I did that I used this little reindeer ornament that I got at the dollar store I cut off the string for it and I hot glued it to the bottom inside part of the wreath it looked so cute and then I got these little birds what are they doves yeah I got these little doves and I just hot glued them to the sides of the wreath And then I just used some of the poinsettias, which I just took the flower parts right off of the stems, and I just was hot gluing these around. I used the red and the white ones. Then afterwards, I just took some gold and red ornaments and I stuck them throughout. I was kind of taking them on and off to like set a nice pattern as you guys can see but I think it ended up looking really really good. And now I'm just going to show you guys the final results of all of my DIYs. you guys enjoyed watching this video if you liked it or if you tried any of these or plan on trying any of these please give it a big thumbs up comment down below hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time bye guys